Good Arab Shabbos. Thank you, Rabbi Feigerman, for your technical assistance as always. So <clears throat> over the COVID season, there's been many casualties ranging from very serious casualties to not so serious casualties. Of course, the loss of life is the greatest public health emergencies all over the world. Tremendous financial difficulties for many people. And the COVID season has really affected every area of life, including the sports seasons being played. Particularly mentioning the baseball season, which should have began in a normal year, in the end of March, but this is, year is not normal. And the baseball season will begin for a very shortened, abbreviated season at the end of this month in July. So I think about the greatest record ever by any baseball player. Most people have said it's not the amount of home runs that were hit or the runs that were scored, but rather the greatest baseball record of all time brings us back to a date we just celebrated July 4th, July 4th of 1939. Because July 4th of 1939 was the day that Lou Gehrig said goodbye to baseball. As we know, Lou Gehrig was afflicted with the debilitating fatal disease in his case, or later be known as ALS. But before that, Gehrig showed up to the field every single day for 2,130 games straight. The record stood intact until 1995, eclipsed by somebody else who was able to play for over 2,600 consecutive games. It can be asked, what was so great about that record? After all, it wasn't the amount of home runs hit, nor the runs scored. I think the answer to this and perhaps a much more profound and compelling lesson to an important lesson in life is found in this week's Parsha. Because in this week's Parsha, we learn about the Korban Tamid, the daily sacrifice. God told Moshe, tell the Jewish people to go ahead and bring the daily sacrifice twice. <clears throat> bring the morning sacrifice in the morning and the evening sacrifice in the evening. Originally with the temple in Yerushalayim, it was brought as a sacrificial lamb. Prior to that, it was in the Mishkan and the desert. Today, we don't have that anymore. We just have the tefillah service to reflect our daily commitment and our daily service to God. So we go ahead and daven once in the morning for shacharis, we daven in the afternoon as well, mincha. The fact that we daven marv is for a separate reason. But one can ask, what's so great about this, this concept of tamid? This gives us a little pause. Of course, I want to mention that today is the 17th of Tammuz, the 17th of Tammuz that we observe a fast day for Jews around the world already for thousands of years. And the reason is, is because there were five great tragedies that occurred to the Jewish people on the 17th of Tammuz. And one of them was that the Tammuz for the first time was not brought after hundreds of years. It's a whole long story, I won't get into all the details. The siege around Jerusalem, the enemy cut off entry and exit into Jerusalem and the Jews were not able to go ahead and bring the Tammuz. For that, we fast. You can say just for the fact that we didn't bring one sacrifice one day, we should go ahead and bring <clears throat> and commemorate rather, and observe a fast day? And the answer is, when we're dealing with an important life lesson of tamidus, of consistency, of perseverance, it's so important in our commitment and our service to God. Because in life, there are highs and lows. We ebb and flow. We go from tremendous <clears throat> inspirational experiences, transformative, transformative experiences, you know, go to Jerusalem, go to the Kotel, we experience meaningful high holidays with Ruach, spirit, brotherhood, and sisterhood. But then again, we have some days, a regular Tuesday afternoon or a regular Wednesday morning that aren't that inspirational or exciting. I don't feel the same motivation, the same drive to get up and be as enthused with my service and commitment to God. And that's when we have to go ahead and remember the lesson of the Tammuz. The lesson, remember the lesson 
of consistency and perseverance through all times, through the highs and lows. That's why it was considered the greatest baseball record of all time, and that's why Midos in our service of Hashem is so important. And as we go ahead and endure the tough days of COVID-19, you have to remember this as well in our service of Hashem as well. Because we have ups and downs, highs and lows, many times during these times we can think, you know, I'll wait till COVID's over to resume my regular prayer service, my regular tefillah, my regular Torah study, my regular acts of kindness, whatever it is. I'll wait till this storm passes. And, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, thought to that, but we have to go ahead and remember the lesson of Tamidus. Tamidus tells us consistency is such a value, perseverance throughout the highs and lows, throughout the alls and ebbs and flows of life. Let us remember the lesson of Tamidus. I wish you all very good shots.